I've been wanting to do film for a long time, and it's just taken the right moment and the right time to, to dedicate and say, this is a bit of a priority now, and um, here we are. When was the last time I loaded film into a camera? So we've got a number of different films with us. To play it safe, I'm gonna go for the Kodak first, just because we've got three options to get it wrong. So this is Ellie's Canon A1. Uh, which I'm assuming was your parents a long time ago? No, I bought it. Oh, so let's give this a go. It is missing a thing. Yeah, it's broken. That's why I've not really used it. Does it go that way around? Yeah? Mm hmm Oh, no, yeah. Tuck you in. Tuck, tuck, tuck. You on your teeth. Okay. Yeah. Well, you should have shut it by now. <laughs> oh, just wanted to make sure. Okay, we are ASA 200, and it's central metering, right? It's just a in the middle. Yes, from what I remember. All right, well, we can work this out and uh, either mess it up or get some great results. Going for a little bit of a chill walk, and I uh, thought we would try some film photography. Now, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to put the photos in this vlog because it's going to take a while to actually get them back. Um, so this is probably just going to be a bit more of a relaxed out and about uh, video or whatever. Um, but yeah, been wanting to use Ellie's Canon A1 for a long time. Um, it's missing a couple of parts, but I think we can get around it with a set of pliers and whatever. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been a long, long time since I've shot analog film photography. I want to say the last time I properly did it was at college, uh, when I was fortunate enough to have a brand new dark room built at college. Um, so I use that quite a bit. And that was uh, 15 years ago, so it's been a while. Anyway, chill day um, with this, and I'm going to give responsibility to you. It is mine. <laughs> I should clean this, it's a bit dusty. Oh. <laughs> it's not been used. Always one to hand. I can't really remember how to use this, but... It'll work it, it out. Be, it should be alright. I'm testing as well, by the way. I'm using my wide angle lens. This is my Canon EF 16 to 35 f4. I've just adapted it for the R5. Um, yeah, wonder how you think about a wider view. <laughs> on one hand, I like the wider view. Um, on the other hand, I don't like that I can't zoom in as much when I'm filming outwardly. So we'll see how it goes. We found this area um, kind of accidentally, sort of near to our hotel, it's about a 20 minute walk away. Um, there's just so many cafes and stuff in the area that we want to discover. And we found a few places and realized that they're all under the same roof. Uh, it's called The Commons? The Commons. The Commons um, in Tonglo. Whole sort of community of uh, eateries and drinks and all sorts. Um, good sort of vibe, definitely feels like a, a sort of living place. Um, so we've just been sat here for a couple of hours actually, just sort of, uh, you know, cooling down and waiting for the light to uh, get its golden glow on. Um, and then we can go and take some images and test out if our memory is good on uh, taking analog images and working out the camera. I think, I think we'll be all right. It's, um, I mean, the Canon A1 is a good camera, so uh, we should be pretty well supported by its metering and other stuff. So, uh, so this is a fun little experience. I've obviously seen some shots, but we're on analog day, so I've got a limited chance, and I, I didn't press the shutter. Didn't feel right, didn't feel right. So we keep looking. Okay, I'll see if I can get something that comes through. Because okay. I kind of like the bottles and the signage and the stickers, little street crossing. 
could just wait. complaining whatsoever. Got myself a pint of uh, Chalawan, Chalawan, uh, Chalawan, Chalawan. <laughs> I'm not sure how you say it, but this is a local Thai beer. Uh, it's a craft brewery down in Phuket. Very enjoyable session beer. I'm really liking it. Chalawan, 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 Chalawan. to fix the camera and they did a good job. I'm so happy they fixed it. I'm smiling. <laughs> There's actually been a little bit that's broken on the camera and we've tried so many different stores in London. Everyone's just dismissed it. They've said, nah, can't get the part. Come here to this place, unit, and um, they went digging through their drawers and tried to find anything that could work and um, they fixed it. And very, very happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, the light is uh, pretty good right now, so let's carry on and get some more images. You'll feel some resistance, and that's when you know you're doing it. Okay. Like a lot of resistance? There we go. How far is it supposed to go? You'll hear it, like, flip. Surely, by now. I'm hearing it spin. It changed sound after the first, like, crunk, crunk. But then I was worried that what if that just dislodged it inside and now this is spinning and that's not. Went to go and get the film developed in this, and uh, I think throughout the whole time that we've been taking images on this Canon A1, been a little bit apprehensive if it was gonna work, if we did it right. Uh, even with the fact that we got this fixed, whilst there was film loaded in it, a little bit problematic. Anyway, 
uh, took the film down to a place conveniently below our hotel and uh, within about 10 minutes the guy rang me up and he was like um I don't think the roll works he was like I only got 10 centimeters of, uh, of film I thought this would happen so I went downstairs to go and find out what was going on with it and uh, he said yeah I've only got about 10 centimeters or so of film I was like what do you mean? Like, that's all that's usable? And he was like, no, that, that's all I've got. Um, where's the rest of it? <laughs> and he showed me the, the edge of it, and he was like, did you cut it? Because it was into a, a triangular point. And I was like, no, that's how it comes. That's the end of the film, right? That's the bit that you put into the tab. And uh, he was like, no, this, this has been cut. Where did you buy the film from? Because some people, uh, he was like, especially in Thailand, some people take film and then open it, take the film, and then sell it on with just a small tab. All he had was this amount of film. I was like, does that happen? I mean, the film that we bought was from London. It was from an actual camera store. It was sealed in the packet. I opened it like it was brand new. Anyway, trying to work out, thinking, just go ahead and develop what you can with that small section of film, if you can. And then before leaving, I thought, right, well, I'm gonna load up a new film can you watch me do it to make sure that I know what I'm doing here? So I opened it up and I saw the tab shape, which has like more of a, a rectangle rather than the triangle cut. I was like, ah, okay. Did our film look like that when we put it in? I was about to load it and show it. As I opened the back, boom, that's where the rest of the film was. Quickly slammed it shut. What had happened is the film had snapped halfway through when winding it back in. And I saw it for a split second as I opened the back to load in the new film. And the guy then immediately, he set, felt a, a sense of relief because I think he was panicking, thinking he'd maybe done something wrong because in the rest of the canister, there was nothing. So of course, that's where the film was. I thought, ah, oh, man, I've just opened this in a bright shopping center. Surely everything's overexposed. And he was like, no, nah, let me have a go. So uh, gave him the camera. He put it into this dark bag, started taking apart and uh, retrieved the film put it into a new canister, and then went to go and develop it. I then loaded up the new film, had him watch me, and he was like, yep, that's all correct, you've loaded it properly. Um, so at least there's no fault on my part there. And uh, yeah, then he went and developed the photos. So about an hour later, he then gives me a call and he says, I've managed to get some of the photos. There's about five or six where I think the camera went a bit wrong. Um, but I've sent you the Google Drive link, go and have a look. So I loaded up the photos, and lo and behold, there's a whole collection of images that somehow have a pretty decent exposure. There's definitely some softness there where I think there's been some extra light that came in when I opened the camera. But otherwise, he's managed to salvage some images. I'm very impressed and very happy he's been able to do this because in the past, when this type of thing has happened with film, the whole reel has been ruined. But we've managed to get some images. And funnily enough, the point where we got some double exposure and malfunction with the camera is right where we had this fixed, which is kind of like a nice little memento to show where it was uh, fixed and corrected because the first double exposure is a picture of that camera store in Siam. I'm very happy, there's a few happy mistakes there. There's a few images that I'm kind of gutted we don't have clean. Um, but overall, these images, um, not bad for a first attempt. We've loaded up a new roll now and uh, we're gonna go and power through these and uh, yeah, get some more images. This might be a new venture. I've been wanting to do film for a long time and it's just, taken the right moment and the right time to, to dedicate and say this is a bit of a priority now and um, here we are. So I'm probably going to shoot more film, maybe some more film photography on the channel, I hope you like that and I definitely want to use this when Japan finally opens its borders and we can get there. So I hope you enjoy these images and um, go check them out on uh, my Instagram and we'll see you in the next one. What a story that's been. It all worked out.